Yeah, I've been like... Alright, we got Daniel and Dar coming up. Yeah, I've uh, I've watched a bunch of Karaba, and what he'll do is he'll do the full hop up airs under the side plat because the up air, as the full hop comes up, will hit under the, like to the plat, and the distance is higher than anything Pika can get. So you either have to down air before I start my jump and get me before the up air comes out, or just jump and escape. Right, right. Um, so like press, it's a way good way to put pressure on the top plat, and then like up smash reads. I don't see a lot of Yoshi's doing that, and I was like thinking about that at Shine. Like you can catch Pika's pretty slow, like horizontally. So you can usually just see if he jumps and commits to something, and then just throw an up smash out if he's in the falling of his uh, of his second jump. Right, right. And if, and if he jumps away, then he he can't come back and punish. So you can just escape. But if he uh, if he commits, then he gets hit. Well, it helps. It's invincible too, so you yeah. can just kind of say you know. Throw so like it if out. Pika comes in, he gets he loses or trades at worst, and the trade is always in Yoshi's favor for up smash. Yeah. So usually Pika just gets hit, and if Pika's has to jump and escape. The time that Pika spends going up and then back down is longer than the duration of us smash, so you gotta get out of it. Alright, so Jason's but going puff. Dark going puff, yeah. So the last time these guys played Daniel won last week. I don't know if they went though. Oh last week. Daniel beat everyone last week. I was I was thinking um like SSC. Daniel beat uh Jason. But I, I don't there was <laughs> Some shenanigans there, I think. <coughs> I think last week was uh, Falcon does maybe, but I don't remember exactly. Hey, I mean, Jason uh, Jason believes in the Falcon Ditto, apparently. He's uh, he's counterpicked KD3 with the Falcon Ditto once or twice. Yeah, he's been pretty solid at it. You know, you saw him at boss battle against Supa, and then you saw him against KD3 at uh, Shine. He Pull beat up that upset. He beat Narwhal in the Ditto, too. Yeah. He came back down three to one, I think, to but, beat him. Yeah, Narwhal won that set overall. Yeah, Narwhal had to bust out the Kirby. What, what's up, Bert? <laughs> Have we gotten the puppy cam? The puppy cam. The puppy cam. All right, so. The puppy cam. The we got a little bird puppy. The classic puff counter pick. Yo, Dana going Luigi. I like it. I like it. I I want. I actually think this counter pick isn't as, yeah. is a lot harder than people are like. Oh, Luigi kills Puff at thirty percent with up B. It's like Puff kills Luigi at thirty percent with down B. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I want to see Jason kind of show. Punch up up here. Ah, uh, you can punch up over there. Like the neutral advantage that Puff has. Yeah. Oh man. Luigi just if he gets the, if he gets a neutral win, he can really do a lot of damage. But it's hard getting in there because like Puff's nair beats like Luigi up air, it beats Luigi forward air, it beats basically everything Luigi has coming like oh. horizontal or even like vertically below. So Luigi has to try to get on top, but Luigi's too Puff's fast enough in the air that if you see Luigi coming over with down air, you just run away. Yeah. So it makes it really hard to get in. As Luigi. Luigi has to kind of trick Puff with an up air. Yeah. You know. And, and even then, like the timing to get up air over uh, to beat out like nair is really really hard. Jason's having a hard time edge guarding. You got a couple down smashes early. Like, what your best bet is just space forward airs <clears throat> and just try to hit him with like a weak forward air. Because if he has a weak forward air, you can usually chain it to like a uh, strong near to up air or just even strong up air to up air, you know? Yeah. So, <clears throat> weak forward air is usually a pretty good hit and it's space as well. <clears throat> and it's got good range. So, it's like, it's probably some of Luigi's best options against Luigi or Puff here. His counter pick uh, so far not working out in Daniel's favor. Yeah, I didn't think it would either. Daniel's pretty good with all the characters, but uh, his Luigi's his Luigi... not up to uh, Dark's puff yeah, level. Yeah, I was gonna say his Luigi's pretty good, but I think Dark knows how to deal with the uh, Luigi. Yeah, I missed the jump there, and that's not gonna hit. Yeah, it's hard. Once a puff gets a high percent, it's like really hard for Luigi to kill. So Luigi needs to get those kills early. If Puff plays a chip damage game and gets over 50%, 60%, like, the down tilt, interesting. Yeah. It's really hard for Luigi to get I a mean, kill. D Daniel had a couple opportunities to kill there. He just kind of blew it. Yeah, and then like, once, he got, the once he had to do the other up airs to catch up, it was too high percent for Puff. Yeah, like, he did up air and missed the jump, but... That's, you gotta come on there. That was You gotta rough. come on there. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> come right on their head. Right there, come right on the head. <laughs> I said you gotta come on there. Like, you gotta, when you see him, you gotta come on down on him, you know? <laughs> you gotta go down on him, man. <laughs> you gotta go down on him. Go down on his head. 
Ooh, I like the up air actually, but you know they do the falling up air. Reverse F smash. Catch oh. Oh, you gotta mash you gotta mash more, Dan. He didn't go anywhere for the first yeah. like, you know, twenty frames of that mash. Just getting a lot of up airs now. It's not gonna do anything. There we go. Yeah, that's yellow up smash. It's a Luigi classic. Yeah. So what I like here on the edge, you can do drop up. Yeah, forward air. You do forward air to nair to up air to uh, up B, and it's a kill. And it's, if you strong hit forward air, it's a, it's a guaranteed combo. No, you can't. That, that second up air was bad. You should have just up beat at that point. That doing that other up air just puts off out of range. Yeah. Daniel dropped it. And Jason just goes out there and hits him with an air. So Jason wins 2-0, Dark Horse. The Luigi counter pick, not effective enough.